how is everybody doing quick look at the egg crew they've been on vacation for a couple of weeks they haven't been producing eggs but <clears throat> four of them came off of vacation today so maybe we'll get back to some good production there all right well oh it's about 4 30 5 o'clock ish something like that uh Give you an update on Boss Hog. She only has one baby left. And as far as we can tell, she only had six this time. Just crazy. But anyway, uh, I'm not sure if it was it's the weather or what there. You know, she had lots of straw they could get in. Uh, I don't know. But that's the way it goes. If you're going to farm, you got to expect stuff like that, especially if you're going to farm with livestock. But everybody else is doing good. Over here, these guys are growing. Going to have to get them an appointment made. And uh, well done. Still got all of her babies over here they're growing good really happy with them uh, there they are four of them now the other three went with mom but these guys is hungry they're gonna stay and eat so yeah yep they're doing good everybody else is doing okay Freckles is still rehabbing from her leg injury. Uh, which I think the cause of that is Deuce is just too, takes his job too serious and tries to force the issue. So, I know how to uh, solve that problem. It's going to take some some time and energy get some pens built or some thought more than anything else how how can I do it and you know get shelter to all of them that's the big thing but anyway uh, yeah Okay, well, I don't know if I said this, but we've been down at Mom's all day cutting firewood. And uh, we got a late start, so I just, we got to cutting and splitting, and I forgot to take any video. But, you know, we got her about a rick put up. So, had a she's still got a bunch of trees down from the tornado and that's just in her front yard we haven't got to the back yet and i know most people would have already cut them up and had them hauled off but you know why pay somebody to haul them off or spend gas money to haul them off when you can cut them up for firewood so we did that being number one farmhand and the pig wrangler extraordinaire and uh, <clears throat> my nephew Rooster helped for a little bit till he had to go to work. And then, uh, oh, well, also my niece's boyfriend, Derek, he helped for the majority of the day. And, uh, I said we got her some wood cut and put on the porch in the dry so she don't have to go out and get it <clears throat> I know it'd been cooler if there'd been video but didn't think about video you know thought about doing a video about 
<clears throat> what you can expect when you go into farming with livestock. Uh, this has been a, it's been a bad year for us. Uh, and you're going to have those years. Uh, we lost two whole litters of pigs in the heat, baby pigs in the heat. Uh, the first one we lost, it's partially due to the heat, partially due to a, a sow that just wasn't a good mother. Uh, that was uh, many. And uh, so, and you know, you've got to cull pretty ruthlessly. Um, like I mentioned in the last video, we're just, we may be calling boss hog. We haven't decided. Uh, right now, we've discussed two options. Calling being one, and uh, the other one being put her in with Buddy Love and try to make that cross. But we'll see. Uh, and there's no big rush on it. Uh, it's pretty cool. I gotta tell you all a cool story here real quick. We're, I get home and sit down to, to rest this afternoon and I see that I've got a message. And it's some folks that saw my Craigslist post and uh, found my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. And then contacted me and told me they were interested if I decided to call Boss Hog. So, of course, you know, I don't know what they're expecting to get on money, but, uh, you know, it may not be in their budget to do that. I don't know. don't know the folks. It just They sent me a message on Facebook Messenger. But anyway, I thought it was pretty cool, you know, getting some feedback about stuff. Uh, but anyway, back to farming. Uh, it can be tough. You're going to have bad years. and This has been a bad year for us. Uh, the year before, we were pretty lucky. Uh, the biggest problem we had was uh, me waiting too long to market our feeder pigs. And... We ended up with selling some feeders at a loss because, you know, we needed to cut our feed bill. And, uh, you know, live and learn. So, and I think I mentioned in the other video, I don't, you know, uh, it doesn't matter how long you are in this kind of business, raising animals, uh, a guy I, I'm his substitute bus driver and he lost cows full-grown cows in this cold snap that we had about a month ago uh, just and he wasn't interested in talking about it too much he just <laughs> said I got bit hard and he shut up don't blame him I'd be a sore subject with me uh, I don't really like to share my losses too much, but um, I've kind of made it a point to be honest and and as open as I feel that I can be on here on YouTube. It's because you know I, I know there's some people that just enjoy watching it. I mean, they, I don't know you know their reasons, but. That's fine. I don't care why you watch. I think there's others just looking and waiting for uh, me to do something wrong or something bad to happen. I mean, there's a lot of that in our society. But they're watching. So, uh, anyway, I appreciate everybody watching. And I guess as I was saying before I distracted myself today in at this point in history or time 
This is one of the better times, I think, to be a farmer. In the fact that uh, people are starting to look for non-commercial type animals. They want... Man, we got a lot of traffic. There's three cars out here, four out here in front of the house all at once. It's crazy. But anyway, there's people that are looking for... Uh, they're looking for a variety of things. There is the group that are looking for the, the totally organic, you know. And then there's others that are looking for people like myself that have can supply them with weaning pigs for them to grow out because they enjoy it had a guy contact me the other night about that he bought four from us last year and he wants four more this year and i just hope that i can meet his time frame but uh he, he said he wanted the same breeding and people are finding out that If animals are raised outside in dirt, you know, like pigs, they, they need some dirt to root in and stuff. But, you know, uh, but people are looking for that. They're, they're looking for animals that have, are allowed to be the animal that they are, you know, allowed to do what they were bred to do. And... <laughs> that group is growing more and more every day, I think. Um, I know I've converted a few people. Not just to, to my pig production, but maybe someone else's too. Or maybe something else they got for sale. Maybe they're selling chickens. I don't know. But anyway... Uh, <laughs> People who have never had pork grown the way I grow it, which isn't anything special. They just got big pens they can roam around in and root and eat grass and bugs and whatever they choose to eat. As well as I feed them enough feed that they can thrive. If all I was feeding, was, all they got was, which is pretty much it now, right now, in the wintertime, all they got was that feed. They're going to live good on that. So, you know, but if you're thinking about it, you know, I'm on several different pages on Facebook, people, you know, wanting to grow their own and stuff. But if you're thinking about getting into farming, whether it be homesteading or, you know, just raising whatever, you got to be prepared for loss. It's going to happen. Uh we lost a pig that weighed probably 300 pounds. I left to go run some errands that morning. They were all up and, and moving around and being pigs. And I come back about four hours later, and it was just laying there dead. No clue. I mean, there's no blood on it where they'd been fighting or anything like that. Just, it was just dead. And of course we didn't know what killed us, so we didn't eat it, but, uh, Things like that happen. You know, I'm sure there's a reason. There's got to be a reason. I mean, but I couldn't figure it out. And we didn't have the money to take it to a vet and have them check it out and see if they could figure it out. And, but we've not had that happen again. Not with the pigs. You know, and we lost our little heifer, Skittles. Uh, you know, that, that was a loss because we'd become attached to her. You know, with me going out and feeding her twice a day and... You know, everybody on Facebook, you know, liking those videos and, you know, she was a bit of a character. But we the, we paid $130 for her at auction, which might have been the problem. Except maybe a video for another day, something you got to be careful of at auctions. Uh, and then we had some bad expenses because she got sick and, you know... I think she was sick when we got her, and I think I was too inexperienced to to see whatever sign it was, but we got her through that, and, you know, she was thriving until the cold, 
you know. But, you know, if a, a farmer with decades of experience is losing full-grown cows, I don't feel so bad about it now. She was in a shelter. She had straw. Just, I don't, you know. I still feel bad, but not quite as bad, you know. If, like I said, if a farmer that's raised thousands and thousands of cows over the course of their lifetime loses cows, it's it's bad, you know. I can't feel too bad for myself of losing one. I still don't like it. I don't like it when I lose anything. Uh, I'm not real happy when we slaughter one, okay? Uh, but I know that's what they're for. You know, and I know that I can't afford to keep them all. So. But okay, I'm going to wrap this up now. Uh, I didn't mean to go this long. But I did. <laughs> so. Let's look out for each other. Let's help each other when we can. And let's all pray. Catch you later.